Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a very important subject that I think many of us struggle with in drawing, and that is figuring out proportion. Now if we look at any subject, there we have to take that information that we see and transfer it over to our paper, and we have to try to make sure that the shapes of the objects and the scale of the objects are accurate. How do we do that exactly? Well, today what I'm going to talk about is a method called site size drawing. Now the idea here is we're going to take our drawing tool, in this case I'm using this graphite stick, and I can actually take this and line it up with my object. So if I align this with the top, I bring that line right across and I've already marked out where the top of that object is going to be in my drawing. I can do the same thing now for the bottom. The key here is that your drawing pad has to be parallel to the subject that you're looking at. So you have to set this up in such a way that you can very easily move across from the subject matter to your paper. Now I've already established my height. How can I establish my width? I'm going to take this drawing instrument that I have right here. I'm going to align my thumb with the left side and the tip with the right. I'm doing that um, in the two widest points and I'm checking my width proportion. I can take that exact same information, bring it over and mark where one side is. Sometimes I have to use a separate drawing tool to mark the other side. So now I know exactly where this object is going to sit in space. Once I know that, I can create a box. So if I imagine as though a box was wrapped around this object, I have vertical lines and I have horizontal lines. Incidentally, when I'm drawing a circle, my width to height ratio is the same. So that makes it fairly easy, and that's another way to check my proportion. So once I've sketched out my box, I want to make sure that the measurement across this way is going to be the same as my measurement down. And that looks pretty close. I double check triple check just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Once again, I'm looking at my width, checking that's the scale or the dimension of that, and comparing it to my height. By the way, these lines are also very loose and light, so I can easily adjust if need be. At this stage in the drawing, I don't want anything to be permanent. I'm really just looking for big shapes. When drawing a circle, once again, it's a very easy subject matter because it's symmetrical. And if I try to find a center point, I can actually do that with an X, find the center of my X here, and now I can create a vertical center line. This is gonna to help to guide me through the drawing. I can also put another center line horizontally through that X. Now I have four points right here. So if I look at the top and the bottom of my vertical line and the two sides of my horizontal line, those four points are going to be the outer points in which my circle will touch. So I am simply going to recreate the shape of the circle now, which falls within my square. As I draw this shape, I am using the side of the pencil. I am not relying on one specific line. In fact, I don't even have to look at the line. If I look at this center point, and I just try to work the shape of the circle around that center point, 
my eye will automatically see the line within my peripheral vision. I'm not concerned with an exact line just yet. I will just create this shape and then I can go back and refine my lines as the drawing develops. So the next step is now to just check my proportion one more time. I like to always check at various points within the drawing process to make sure I'm on the right track. So in this case, I'm gonna start with the circle that I drew. I'm going to measure the width and make sure that's equal to the width of my ball. That's pretty close. Going to now check the height once again and make sure that that relates to my actual ball. And that looks pretty spot on. When doing this, you also have to make sure that your pencil is straight. 